Good Tuesday morning to y'all. How's it going? Oh, what are we listening to this morning? I don't even know. It's uh, Mockingbird, I think. It's a really good song. Hey, pretty little Mockingbird. Keep singing them sad, sad songs. Give it a listen. Hey, all right. I gotta, yeah, they'll demonetize me, so... This is your Tuesday morning work week shop update. A few pieces, just a few pieces this morning. Um, Y'all know those are red eye shaz. Those are going to be something cool today. I'll show you on the next one. And I got a bunch of this stuff. Let's start with this little 1.5. This is an order that's. You guys saw the uh, great big old custom swim bait from Tom Wren um, that's going back to Heather. So I've already shown you that. And then there's a 1.5 uh, involved in that somewhere, which is one of one of these um, one of these patterns. So I, yeah, I I'm gonna fish this. I think tomorrow I'm gonna throw this. I, how can you not? I mean, I I never keep my stuff, y'all. I never keep it. Well, once in a great while, I do most of the stuff you guys get. But this is an extra piece I sprayed, kind of just for me. So, um, yeah. Anyways, back to Heather's order. We have a beautiful craw, 1.5, those almost glow black craw eyes. I really, I really tried to subdue and just put in the background this under segment here on this one, and I think it worked out well. It's a little bit more shadowed. Um, this is going to be, again, great for clear water, great for stained water, a little bit different. I can't specifically call this a mid-south crawl. This is more like an mid-Atlantic eastern coast crawl, um, but it would also be money here in the Ozarks. So I, I think, uh, if I did a silent version of this in a 1.5, um, this would be really good in gin clear water. You guys have seen these before. This is that black back shad. on that holographic 1.5 out of Dinger. Love those holographic 1.5s. Little Florida frog action going on. There's those jets and eyes that I talk about so fondly all the time. A lot of you all keep asking, one of the most frequent questions I answer is how to keep clear coat out of the gill through water flow technology of this particular popper. Um, pretty easy. I take and run my tail drip wire through these, and you can either run the um, can either run the, the curved piece or just the straight piece of 18 gauge wire through there, and uh, it'll keep the it'll keep your fluid in, and that that way it'll it'll it's going to clean up a lot better, and there's no junk you have to. So this is as you guys can see, and I'm really giving you guys a good look at this. This is completely clear. There's that beautiful Florida chorus frog. Little hint of purple. Love these eyes. John at Jetson. Love them. Absolutely love them. Everybody asks where I get my eyes. I get them from. I get them from all over. Um, I just, you know, I, I. We all want to help you guys as much as possible. But half of the fun, and, and I have never asked a single person how to start or where to get stuff. Maybe that's just me, but um, half of the fun that I have with stuff is just discovering. Just I scour the internet for the best deals and for the best quality, um, and I, I really try and do my homework. So one of the things that I want to try and impress upon you guys that might just be starting out is to do your homework. Do have some fun. It's cool to ask where, where some stuff is coming from. But um, like this, I will happily tell you, it's from Lore Part Online. But if you don't look through their catalog, um, some, some stuff could be hard to find, but it's there. You just have to look. Um, you just have to kind of sift through some stuff with those guys. So, I mean, killer eyes. That's that, that glow eye. And then this is that little nest raider. And instead of the, uh, the black under, under layer, we did blue on this one that rust orange that's that's a lot of fun as well baby garter snakes 
baby gar snakes and these eyes are also from lure parts online you can get a lot of good stuff off of there um, you guys just have to know to do a little bit of research you know there's some good stuff that you can find on amazon there's some really good stuff that you guys can find um, at aliexpress if you guys are willing to uh, some people think that that's a little bit risky um, it's not i haven't had a single issue i've had more i've had more issues with um credit card attempt hacks and and spends here in the states than i ever have from going overseas um and and that's that's pretty sad to say but um most of the stuff that you get through there is 100 percent secure it sounds like i'm being invaded by what are you doing are you playing You get it, girl. You get it. <laughs> okay. That's Molly in the background this morning, y'all. She's my my, my uh, buddy out here in the shop this morning. Well, there's just another. This is that lipless. But, yeah, do some research. And if you guys get stuck, that's what we're here for. If you go to the, the Brotherhood of Custom Crankbait Painting that Michael started and Garcia on Facebook, and join there's we're over 5,000 members strong now and we're growing I, I don't want to say at a breakneck speed um, but be serious about it it's not a buy sell page um, people are not there to, to showcase they're there to learn and we're there to teach and I learn stuff from you guys all the time on that page so please go check it out that's Michael Ornstein's Brotherhood of Custom Crankbait Painting um, there's some really, really a wealth of knowledge and some really talent, talented and experienced paint slingers over there as well. So that's pretty much what I got for you guys this morning. I think you guys have seen this. I don't remember if I showed it to you before or not. This is a fire bug in a wart. That's one of my new patterns. Um, and this is going out to one of my tournament anglers. Oh, couple of things before I forget. Speaking of tournament anglers, huge shout out to ADE Fishing. Um, he's out of Washington. He's got a YouTube channel. I'm going to link his channel below. Um, fantastic. Did an un unexpected review. I sent him a few um, Spro Rock Crawlers. I really prefer to repaint brand names. That's why you see stuff like that sitting on my desk all the time. And all of this, because um, these are all brand names. Uh, there's some quality stuff. There's really quality stuff that's blanks out there, too, like this particular lipless. Man, this has got a wicked, wicked swim um, through the water. And the flutter is really good when you're ripping it. But I love doing brand name repaints. That's, that's kind of like what I specialize in. But that being said, ADE Fishing, um, Anthony Douglas, super cool guy. He's got a YouTube channel. I think he's just starting up. He's never asked me for a thing. He ordered, um, he ordered three rock crawlers that I was happy to paint for him. And he gave me a really awesome shout out, so I'm giving it right back to him. So go check out his channel, I'll link it below. And also, uh, a couple of my local tournament anglers, one um, I sponsor, and I don't sponsor many people because I'm a small company, but Mike Crump, um, congratulations on your first Fishers of Men tournament. Uh, I'm gonna show a picture of him and Dell. Uh, you guys probably know Dell if he's in the area. He does the Bull Shoals uh, fishing reports every week out of Bull Shoals from the boat dock from the marina. So I'll link both their channels below in the description. Go check them out. If you're anywhere in the Ozarks, um, Del Colvin will give you a wealth of knowledge as to what the fishing conditions are gonna be in your area. Everybody's high, we've been saturated with rain. Um, but yeah, just a couple, you know, definitely Anthony Douglas hit his channel, show him some fish and love. Show Dell, he's got he's got a fishing channel as well on YouTube, and it's a weekly report and a wealth of knowledge on that as well. So um, let's get those guys up and running. You guys have a fantastic week. I hope you enjoy what I'm going to get out. I'm out, out, out of the shop tomorrow, so I'm actually going to take a day off. So we will see you closer to the weekend. Cheers. Bye.